Hey there, everybody. It's once again time to say hello to my girls and ghouls out there. Today we are unboxing Maylin from Turning Red. So this one specifically is actually, as you can see over here, it says bonus outfit. This is a version that's a little bit more expensive, um, but this is the version that you can get from the Disney Parks, which is where I purchased mine, as well as from uh, Shop Disney, at least again at the time of this recording. Um, and the different, there is a version, sorry, I know the lighting is terrible. I tried to do a new setup, end up having to go back to my old one because I just, this box is so shadowed and very reflective, but we'll get her out in a minute and be able to actually look at her. But anyway, so this bonus outfit, um, it is a little bit more expensive because it's from the Disney store directly, or again, specifically, I got mine from the parks. Um, but it comes with this bonus outfit, which is why it says that, because you can purchase it on Amazon, but it will not come with her pajama outfit. Um, so that is something that she will be, I will be trying her in the panda suit. I'll be trying her in this suit and then you can kind of decide. Um, but from what I've seen, the Amazon one comes with just her and the panda outfit, um, which the panda outfit looks so fluffy. Like I just want to like see how it feels like without the doll inside and see if maybe there's like, if I can have both, but probably not. Like I feel like the head isn't attached to the body in any way. So, but we'll see once we get her out. Um, on the back it just says transforms into red panda me. Maylin Lee is 13 years old and this isn't hard enough. Whenever she gets too excited, she poofs into a giant red panda. And then bonus outfit, deluxe Maylin doll um, from Turning Red. So um, I am going to go ahead. Oh, let's look at the side really quick. Again, I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, she's kind of peeking out down here under the bottom. And then it's like a cut off picture of her. And there's like her friends all got cut off in the top of the picture. Um, and then on this side, it's some scribbles for town, um, if you, for town forever. Um, I've only seen this movie once. I absolutely love it. Um, but I'm probably not going to be talking too much about like what actually happens in the movie. Um, so you don't have to worry about spoilers. I mean, talk about some of the characters, but I don't think I'm, I'm going to try and not talk about anything that happens specifically in the movie. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get her open. Uh, before that, I just want to give a quick honorable mention to... Let me just change out my power source really quick because I can use the rechargeable batteries for this one. There we go. Cool, because we don't need any more lighting issues. Honorable mention to R2W50 here. So R2W50 here is our... Uh, is a special edition Star Wars figure. He's part of the Droid Factory line. So the Droid Factory line can actually come apart and be mixed with other uh, other droids from the Droid Factory line. I don't know if the Droid Factory line is um, park slash Disney store exclusive or if all figurines are, but I definitely know that any of the ones that list themselves as Droid Factory means they can come apart and go back together because it's based on the Galaxy's Edge um, buildable Astromex that they came out with this line of Droid Factory, which all of the park ones, so all of the exclusive, like the Pride ones and those kind of fun things have all come as the Droid Factory. Um, so this one is specifically for the Walt Disney World's 50th celebration. So he is in those iridescent colors that they created for the 50th celebration. And our box, his box, and yes, it is iridescent as in E-A-R, as in Mickey ears. Uh, iridescent is the colors that they made everything in. Um, so on the back, it just describes the different individual pieces. Um, and then it says R2W50 is unlike any other astromech droid in the galaxy. As a loyal astromech, R2W50 lives on Naboo serving different members of the royal house. His droid is built is similar to the other classic R-series droids, but features an iridescent coloring on its body. Join R2W50 on its adventure across the galaxy. May the force be with you and your droids. This astromech droid figure will celebrate the commemorate the 50th of magic of Walt Disney World Resort. So yes, um, I think I'll put it in the description. Oh, I just noticed. Look in the. I probably can't see it. Um, in the the packaging, there's a little BB here, and then on this side, there's a little R2 unit, and they kind of look like um 
constellations. Yeah, you can see the R pretty well there. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I just made my trip to a trip to Magic Kingdom yesterday, um, which is where I bought both of these. I haven't decided yet if I want to take him out of the box. Um, it's very rare for me to keep my droids in the box, but like this whole like ensemble is like so cute, but also like I love this little guy. So we'll see what happens. But for now, he is in the box and he's going to go over to the side. Um, I was not able to get the Pride BB unit, at least as of yet. Probably won't be able to get it. Um, but yeah, so that this is my, my Parks haul for the day. Um, might talk about some other things, but for now I'm going to go ahead and get uh, her out of the box. And we'll see how she looks. Alright, so she is out of the box now. And this is her in the box outfit. Um... And then we have her in her hair, her, her glasses were rubber banded to her face. So she has a little bit of a box hair going around the outside. Um, I was kind of nervous with seeing how much they were on her face with the rubber band that I thought they were going to have to stay on the rubber band, but I was able to get them off. I think it was just so they didn't end up rattling around in the package. Um, Disney is very particular, especially with their park dolls, that if like even like a little piece falls off and is rattling around in the box, um, it can be considered damage and they would have to take it off the floor. Um, so they're very particular about making sure that, that kind of stuff doesn't happen. Um, I will say she had a very, very easy unboxing um, as far as like, honestly, most of it, I like didn't really need scissors, except she has like some of the teeniest, tiny little plastic tabs that was holding her clothes on. So I had to like cut those very carefully but honestly she only had like a couple like just enough to tack everything on and not like excessive amounts oh there's a couple still that I just need to pull through um on her clothes and then uh like getting her like the physical box open was really easy I literally just had to cut like one piece of tape so it was a very easy experience and I definitely was able to get most of the way out of the box without the scissors. It was just that I really needed the scissors to pull the little tabbies off. So it is something that you could open up very easily um, if you were to purchase her while you were, you know, out in the park and you um, you wanted to play with her right away. So she has this super adorable face sculpt. We'll just move her glasses so it's out of the way. She looks, I mean, honestly, she looks just like she did in the movie. Like they did an excellent, excellent job with getting her face to look good because sometimes like you see them and they like you're like well because she's dressed that way I like, can tell like that's supposed to be who it is but no like this looks exactly what she looks like she has the beautiful red eyes and the beautiful red hair from when she has her panda form um I love these little star earrings they're so cute um a little Peter Pan collar her little sweater now this is all screen printed on but it's actually a really soft material so it's really nice. Um, her shoulders are articulated. She can turn her head, um, but her elbows aren't articulated, neither her wrists. She has little grippy hands, kind of like, um, so that she can hold things. I don't think she comes with anything really to hold, but she does have grippy hands if you had something you wanted her to hold. Um, and then again, the elbow, or the, I mean, sorry, the shoulder. Um, it doesn't seem like it even, like, it doesn't really open up. It just kind of spins, so that's okay um and then let's see i feel like oh yeah she has a little molded on sports bra that's cute because i felt that and i was wondering if that was a joint because it would be odd to have an underbust joint as your like joint um she has a little skirt which goes all the way around um i'm really loving this short hair it's super soft but it's nice because it's like up and out of the way um and then she has her little leggings which oh she has a <laughs> Interesting. I would have, personally, I would have put it the other way where I put this underneath, but I can see, again, that's kind of makes sense. Um, it probably, because then it gets all tangled, so that's probably how you have to have to put it, but that's an interesting look. Um, she has his leggings, which do not go all the way into her shoe, but again, they're leggings, not tight, so that's, they shouldn't go all the way into her shoe. And then she has these little plastic shoes, which, sh yep, yeah, they can come off. Cool. Um, so she is very small. As you can kind of see, like, I'll just, like, bring one of my Monster High over. So you can kind of see, like, size comparison. So I would say she's probably about, like, a Kelly size. Um, or Chelsea, I think her she is now maybe a little bit smaller. No, I'd say that's about a Chelsea size um, doll. So 
that is her first outfit. Um, oh, she also has this little hair clip up here, which I do believe can open up. Um, this part right here, because it has the hair clip on it to keep that, again, you can see it kind of moving as one piece. That's a little bit crunchy, has a little bit of gel in it. Um, and there's a tiny bit of gel right around her ear to keep it looped back so you can see the earring. But other than that, this is all soft, um, which did mean that there was a couple of different, like when I looked at them in the box, um, some of them did have their hair a little poofed out, um, but that's okay because it's really soft. So you can literally just brush it back. Um, she does come with a brush, but honestly, like, it does kind of work for her. I was going to say it's kind of big comparatively to the amount of hair that she has. So, but yeah, so that is that one. We're going to go ahead. Um, let me get her glasses back on because the next outfit won't have glasses because it's the bedtime outfit and we don't wear glasses to bed. Well, we're not supposed to anyway. I used to when I was a kid. Um, and then when I got contacts, I wore my contacts to bed, even though they weren't overnight contacts. But, you know, that, that's a whole other thing. All right. So we're going to get her dressed in her bedtime outfit. And there she is, all dressed and ready for bed. Now, um, she did also have on molded underwear, just like her molded sports bra, which can I just say I love the fact that they put her in the little sports bra. Because, like, they didn't have to do that. Like, they could have just, you know, left her flat or, you know, just given her little bumps like most of the other dolls. But I love the fact that they did because, again, like I said, I'm not going to talk too much about the movie, but I don't think it's spoilers because it's kind of the plot. Like, the whole plot is that, you know, it's about the coming of age. And, like, you know, they didn't shy away from the mention of, you know certain things in the movie that you know some people didn't think that they should have mentioned but again it's about being 13 and it was about the reality of being 13 and at that age you know you start wearing you know training bras and things like that which is what she has on and I just I love that that they didn't like they went for that detail even with a doll this small um now she has her little t-shirt with her little Canada on it because that's where they're from so the little maple leaf for Canada and then her little pink shorts and they do fit a little bit like awkwardly they don't kind of want to go on her body quite right oh, I think I got it <laughs> you just have to kind of fidget with it I guess to get them on to go but they kind of have this little gap but that's okay because the shirt covers it up now one thing I couldn't see I saw when I was undressing her but you couldn't see because her Peter Pan collar was so high she has her little choker it's like painted onto her neck isn't that cute and I like, I like, it's a little like frustrating that it's painted on because like you can't see it because it's, you know, like right under there. Um, but I love that it's painted on because then I can't lose it. So, and I do have a habit of losing things. I guess I, yeah, there we go. I can just slide it off. I was like, I could have taken, I should have taken that clip off for her bed look. There we go. Now she's really ready for bed. Now I have a feeling like the panda suit is supposed to be able to go on over her clothes because you know she just poofs in and out of the panda suit so she'll be able to put it on now I was kind of hoping that I could kind of keep it as like maybe like a panda suit and a doll um but unfortunately the panda suit hand is like I thought completely separated and unfortunately is completely open in the back it does not close in the back at all which will look fine on the doll especially because she does have the you know the red hair um but it just means that you can't keep it as like a separate plushie kind of thing um but again I love the little details like it looks just like it came off the screen like that's exactly the face sculpt and everything like it's so pretty like I mean that's one of the things that you can do when you have like a 3d designed movie it in my opinion it should be easier to translate to a 3d design doll right you just take the same um like digital sculpt and then you edit it into a version that can you know be printed um, obviously I don't know these things because I don't actually work with those things, but I do have, you know, friends that do work with those things. And I feel like that's why we're getting dolls that look more and more like, you know, they come right off the screen. So anyway, so we have our head and our body. I think it's going to be easier to get the body on first. Um, I'm going to slide our little feet in. Is there, no, I think it's just a tag. Yeah, it's just a tag. If it sounded like there might've been tissue in there. We're going to slide our little feet in first. And I love the little tail on the back. All right. And then we're going to put our little arm in. And the other arm, again, because they're not jointed, but you have to do those about the same time. And then we can put up. Oh, I love this. And our hand all the way up to the top. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 
little Velcro on the back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute like this. Oh, I love this little furry suit. Okay, now for this part. All right, it is a hard molded plastic. It is as a little bit of give, so you just kind of have to stretch it with your hand. And then, there she is. Oh, oh my gosh. She's so soft. And the, like the fur on here is really like actually like soft fur, just kind of like a cushy belly. Um, there's no stuffing in here, but again, it's really soft. It's nice to play with. And then the whole head is flocked. Um, the eyeballs are kind of flocked too. Like they just did the flocking and then screen printed that on top. They do have a little bit of eye wonk, but that's okay. Um, she is adorable and I kind of think that the eye wonk makes her a little bit more adorable. I was gonna say also her eyebrows are a little bit wonk, but also like even this one that seems like it's on right is a little bit off print or like not completely full, but it's like this side's good. This side has some wonk, but that's okay. I made sure that the Mei Lin face was good. I probably should have made sure that this one was good too, um, but I really didn't have time to sit there and look through all of them. I was just happy to have her. Now, they are 34. Was it 34 or 24? 34.99. So, this, you know, smaller doll is about the same price as, you know, a Rainbow High. Is it necessarily worth the same price as a Rainbow High? Honestly, that's kind of up to you. Um, it's not articulated. It only, it comes with three outfits as opposed to two outfits at the thirty four ninety nine price. At the like twenty five to thirty dollar price, I'm not sure how much it actually is on Amazon. I looked it up, but it was on sale. So, like for the one without the extra outfit so I don't know I forgot to pay attention to what the regular price was on it but either way it's still around the same price as like a rainbow high it depends on you know what you're looking for I think the amount of detail in it is definitely worth it it again it's just hard when you have something like this to compare it to I would say definitely this compared to like the um compares better to like my uh mermaid high in like terms of like quality and volume and you know same kind of those are also same kind of price range um so it's really up to you um I really am very very happy with her um I think she's great she was standing on her own in doll form I don't know if she can stand on her own in panda form um but oh yeah look at that so she doesn't even need to stand she stands on her own that is awesome I love that um so yeah for me it's totally worth it um but it's up to you it's something to consider I will say I mean like look at like the details and like the shoes and you know the face sculpt like I said she looks like these are exact oh there's a little R on the bottom that's nice that's very nice there's some other dolls that I wish would do that um but anyway uh she literally looks like she came right off the screen I mean even like this is exactly exactly Malin sweater there's no like well I kind of wish that it no this is exactly 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 what she wears and like I just I love all the little details and you know the nice pleating and the little leggings like yeah personally I think this is a great set so it's it's up to you your opinion on you know if you think it's worth the same though as you know say a rainbow high probably going to leave her in the panda suit because I love I love 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 um I want like all of the cutie reveals because I love like the little fursuits but I'm kind of trying to hold back and I'm holding out for the unicorn every time I go to my Walmart they have the um the puppy and the bunny and I'm just kind of holding out for the unicorn right now so but yeah so that is our friend Mei Lin. Um, I am very happy with her. I love her very much. Um, she's going to find a home somewhere here with the girls and ghouls. And um, we're going to say bye and we will see you next time.